Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Paul. Welcome back to Minecraft Metropolis. This is the 21st episode, episode 6 in season 2. And today we're going to be finishing up, hopefully, our TN Tower build. We just have to do the upper part today. Uh, we have how many blocks? A little bit less than 100. 90, about 90 blocks to work with here. So we're probably going to use all of them. But we're going to start with this. And obviously in this video I'm going to explain where I've been. Because it's been uh, like three, three weeks almost, I think, since I posted a video. Maybe more than three weeks. So I'll probably have to explain that at some point in the video. But today is going to be a regular regular build, not a speed build. Uh, the next video might be a regular build as well. Just because, because I haven't been here for three weeks, I can talk about a bunch of things. So anyways, the plan for this video is to finish up the top part of the tower. And then obviously... We will go from there, depending on how long that would take. I'm assuming that'll probably be the whole video, though, because, yeah. Um, so, I know I've been I've been pretty busy with school lately. That's why I haven't been able to record. And uh, I, I it's not like I didn't know what to record or something. Like I got bored of Minecraft because I haven't had time to play, so I didn't get bored at all. Uh, and I knew what I was going to build already. I knew I had to finish this this building. So, usually when I take a break, it's because like I don't know what to do. Like I'm bored of Minecraft or something like that. Where this time it has not been the case at all. Um, so now that I'm not as busy as before, I'm still pretty busy, but I'm I'm not as busy as before. I think I could probably probably fill in or get some videos out to you guys. Uh, hopefully, I can get to my three videos a week, which is what I wanted to do for like since I came back to recording like three months ago. That's what I've wanted to do, and I haven't been able to do it yet. But hopefully, I know there'll probably only be two this week, but hopefully, I can get to three following that and then during the summer I should probably be able to get my three videos total uh, per per week might be able to even do more than that I'm hoping that by the end of the summer I can get to maybe 250 subscribers that'd be pretty cool obviously I need to pick up my pace a lot because right now I'm averaging four a month so four new subscribers a month that is uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of advertising obviously not paid advertising but like Twitter and stuff like that and hopefully I can get my views up but Obviously, I appreciate your views uh, the way it is, especially the smaller the channel, the more each view matters, and my channel is very small, so each one of you guys right now watching this video helps me out big time, so thank you for that, and I hope you enjoy my content, and I hope that you tell me how to make my content better if you're not enjoying it that much, because that's the biggest way to help make your YouTube experience more enjoyable for you, especially with small channels. Um, if you give them feedback, they'll definitely listen to your feedback, because you're a big percentage of their views, whereas somebody big... Like, for example, the creatures or something, I don't know. You're one, like, you're 0.001% of their view base. So, really, obviously, they don't want you to leave. But if you leave, it's just like, okay, whatever. We, we'll get another person. They average, like, 50 new subscribers a day or something. So, like, if you leave, they'll be like, all right, doesn't matter. There's 49 people to replace you. So, yeah. That's sort of my little spiel. I have a picture. I don't know what this is going to do to the recording, but... Okay, so that needs to go up one more. I have a little picture up on my thing in the background on my Google Chrome because you can't use Internet Explorer <laughs> unless you want your computer to get broken. Um, not that I used it before. Internet Explorer has been not good for... My back's itchy. Has been not good for probably like 10 years. But, yeah. So, I, I personally use Google Chrome. I'm very big on all the Google things except for Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus is junk. Um, it's actually, that's not true. It's not that it's junk. It was just five years behind all the other social networks and it had no way of catching up. And that's why if you don't know, um, this is old news now. It's like almost a month old, but Google plus has actually fired or Google has fired or they didn't fire them, but the head of Google plus stepped down. Um, which is probably because his like thing was not successful. His design was not successful. Um, but let me count this. If I talk and try to count this at the same time, it's going to not work. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23. 23 divided by, that's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Break. Perfect. Okay. And now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. Unos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. I don't know how to speak Spanish. 
<laughs> three, four, five. Okay. Now we need to make a circle. So we'll just do this. I believe we can do that now. Sort of a square. Oh, 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 what am I doing? There we go. But anyways, yeah. So what does this mean for YouTube? I know that now that Google Plus is gone and one of the worst things that Google, uh, YouTube has changed about their company, um, about their, sorry, about their product has been Google Plus. Google Plus integration with YouTube was not very um, pleasing to anybody involved. I don't think anyone was like, yes, I get to use my Google Plus on YouTube. Um, but I think that it'll probably remain similar. Um, if they change some of it, that'd be great. I, I like, I honestly, please don't kill me in the comments. I actually like some of the changes that the Google Plus brought. I think the new commenting system with, aside from the Google Plus integration, but like the way they changed it after they added Google Plus made comments a lot better, made it a lot easier to see what was popular, what wasn't popular, a lot easier to reply. Um, so I think that that kind of stuff, I want that to stay. Obviously I want the Google Plus integration out because that Google Plus is a dying dying breed and it's a shame because there's a lot of things that are actually pretty cool with google plus but it, it was just like i said before it, it was just too too late um and it seems that youtube is sort of trying to or google i guess but obviously my focus is youtube because they're sort of what i i do right now but um seems like they're shifting their focus on trying to develop their own products and make them better to sort of just acquiring products that make their product better um an example of this is there one of YouTube's less developed things on the website is um, is their their live streaming stuff. It doesn't really work that well, and it, it's very glitchy and it's not the best. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I don't live stream that because I don't know if my internet speed's even good enough to live stream. But it's very difficult, and I don't feel like making a Twitch account. But apparently, this is this is still fairly new news, but. Um, it might be true, might not be. Apparently, YouTube is in the process of acquiring Twitch, which is the main live streaming network. Like, it's where all video game people live stream. Uh, no one really live streams on YouTube. But I think it'd be interesting to see what it does. It's either going to be really good or really crap for, like, gamers just because it, it either would be, like, a monopoly where YouTube is just going to buy everyone that tries to do anything to combat their popularity. And if that's the case, then it will never get better. None, none, none of the issues of YouTube will ever be solved. It'll just sort of be, uh, you continue along the same way, and eventually someone complains enough. And they'll make a small change just to make everyone be quiet, but it won't actually be good. And like that's just sort of the way monopolies go. They, can't, they don't need to change anything, so why would they change anything? Because they're not going to make any more money off of it, because they're the only thing. So if that's the case, then YouTube buying Twitch is probably the worst thing that could happen. However, I don't think that will be the case, and maybe I'm just an optimist, but I hope that... Hmm, that needs to be higher. I hope that um, it does, in fact, make it better for YouTube, and YouTube brings in Twitch, because tw I, although I don't use Twitch, Twitch is one of the greatest, probably, like, websites for gamers. Um, it's sort of developed it from a hobby to an industry for a lot of people. And so I think that it's pretty cool that you can just sit down and interact with your with your viewers while um, like while you're actually playing where oops, that's the wrong button. Um, where like if I was doing this right now, you guys could I could be like, hey, do you guys have any questions? And obviously because I'm so small, I'd maybe have like one or two viewers. but if anyone had a question, they could just like toss it in the comments. And it, it makes you gives YouTubers a way to interact with their fans and their fans to learn more about the YouTubers. And ultimately, that's what makes a successful YouTuber. Like when fans feel like they're friends with the YouTuber, then they'll watch more of their videos. Uh, so from that aspect, Twitch is miles ahead of YouTube where you can sort of get, develop a sort of like, a, no, I don't want to say a friendship, but like for lack of a better term, you develop a friendship with the person you're watching and you sort of like if they post on a schedule basis, you sort of get excited when you know that the, one of their videos is coming out that day. And that makes you check, like you check YouTube to see if like that person has recorded. Obviously, because I don't record on a schedule, you don't do that with me. But eventually, that's my goal where I'd say like, hey, I record at 6. And then you come on at like 6.30 just to see my videos. Because uh, I know there's there's big YouTubers that even I do that for. Because um, I enjoy YouTube mostly because, like obviously I enjoy the recording. But I also enjoy... YouTube because of the ability for me to interact with with people that I even even though I don't know them it's like you can have a knowledgeable conversation with people on YouTube like um, 
I was watching one of Captain Sparkles' video videos the other day, and um, there was someone like spamming in the comments for people to look at his channel. And I kind of like there was like an argument about whether or not people thought this was okay, and like how whether or not like you can sort of just grow your channel off of other people's success. And I didn't think so. And there was uh, like a de there was two or three people on both sides in the comments, and we sort of had like a debate. And it wasn't just like no, you're dumb because you don't agree with me. It was sort of like a knowledgeable debate, which is. Uh, in the real world, a lot of the time, that's not the case. And I guess because it's a, like the com the new comment system, if you're not interested in the topic, you won't open it. And a lot of the time, if you're interested in something, you're going to be knowledgeable on it. You're not just going to spew out like garbage. So I, I don't know. I, that, from that aspect, I like after we were done the debate, it ended up neither we agreed to disagree, but it went on for like almost an hour of just people having a debate in the topic, in the comments. And it was, it was pretty cool. And stuff like that, I like to see. It's stuff like you connect on a global scale because who knows where those people that i was debating were f with were from they could have been from europe they could have been from asia they could have been from down the street who knows but like that sort of that stuff sort of makes youtube a better place and um did i make that too long now oh i definitely did that's definitely too long um I'm, but like stuff like that makes youtube a lot better in my opinion it makes it more enjoyable for everyone so like that's one thing with the comments I did, I do think is a good, a good change, um, just because it sort of, when you used to see the replies on all the feeds and you didn't know what it was a reply to and stuff like that, I didn't like that, but we'll see. Like usual with stuff on the internet, only the future can sort of, only the future knows what will become of the future. So hopefully, it's for the better. I'm gonna once again look at my picture of the CN Tower. Um, interesting. How am I going to do that? Let me go back here. Um, okay. All right. All right. So, got to make a circle. around it half white half uh the stone color so i'll use obviously the quartz for the white like usual okay it's not obviously it's not gonna be that it's not gonna be like the greatest probably there's probably better scene towers but this is my first major build i've ever done um usually my builds are sort of just they're not of actual things that exist they're of like i don't know like a house that I decided to build or an apartment out of wood. Um, I usually stick to wood in my build just because, I don't know, it seems like a very, Minecraft seems like the kind of game where you build a cottage, you don't build a, like a, a city, even though my thing is called Minecraft Metropolis. Um, it's it's sort of always been something I've followed to the, for the most part where I build stuff like that, where the tree houses or like the hotel thing that I built, I kind of like that design. But... Um, it seems that more and more people are sort of looking for the, the building, like the apartment building with stone and marble and that type of stuff. And if I could, I, I want to learn how to build stuff like that because I find it really cool when someone can come and build a modern house in Minecraft. Um, there was one I built in my old, old server. Uh, it was probably like, I, I don't even know if I had a hundred subscribers yet, but, um, where I had a, this building that it was pretty it's pretty cool i i was a like video tutorial i found online it was just like a 12 by 12 modern house and it was the coolest thing i think i've ever built and obviously i didn't build it so i didn't make a video on it but like it's it's pretty it was pretty cool and it's pretty um i think i don't know i don't really know for lack of a better term it's pretty um like self like it makes yourself feel better when you can do stuff that you didn't think you could do um Obviously, like for the CN Tower, I, I sort of am aware that it's not going to turn out that well. Obviously, it, it, it's, to be honest, better than I expected it to be. I didn't expect it to be half as good as it's turning out. Um, maybe it's because I had low standards. Maybe it's because I'm doing better than I expected. But you be the judge. I guess let me know in the comments below if you think this is any good. And yeah, or like always, just leave me feedback. Feedback's always the best thing for a small YouTuber because obviously he wants to do stuff that everyone enjoys. So 
yeah, I have something stuck in my throat, and I'm trying not to make it noticeable. Um, I don't know if that's working or not, but so I'm probably going to record some survival games as well because I know you guys like that. Um, and I also like it, but I'm really bad at it lately, and I don't record like I I record probably since my three week absence. I've recorded like. If I had to guess, I'd say probably seven episodes worth of survival games, and I just haven't had a good enough result in them for me to upload. Um, I've deleted them afterwards, but in hindsight, I probably should have saved them because there's some pretty good like rage. Because as as you lose more and more games, you eventually just get so frustrated that you just give up on having a winning game. Um, so I think that maybe I'll keep that from now on, but who knows? Is that good? Yeah, okay, that stays the same now. Okay, so we're getting near the end of this. Near the top of the CN Tower. I don't even know if our render distance will let us see the top from the ground, which is kind of cool. I could have say, say the smog of the city, but <laughs> a city with no cars, no people. It's like five villagers has smog. That's that, That'd be pretty upsetting, but... Mm-hmm. Okay. And then let's go. If that's about the same, we'll cut it down by if I had to estimate I'd say that's twenty blocks, so we'll do fifteen blocks up and then we'll do the thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How's that look? That's looking like it's a little bit too much. Let's cut that down by a couple. There we go, perfect. Okay. Um, sorry about that, my phone was ringing. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about, but I don't know. Crap. I have come, oh, maybe, yeah, survival games, I think I was talking about. Um, so, I, I just, I get really frustrated when I play survival games, and I sort of just end up raging. And like almost a lot of the time I end up just quitting Minecraft and just not playing it anymore. So if I was planning on just recording survival games for that week, then I have no videos for that week because I, it's not. And it's sort of, you sort of get to a point where you know you're not going to get a win. And like I was, it'd be like, if I don't win or if I go in expecting like I'm be like, okay, I'm going to upload a win and I don't win, then I won't do an outro and I won't do anything. I'll just stop recording as soon as I die. So I probably have to change that. I should probably start doing outros and just keeping them, maybe make, making like smaller videos once in a while. What? That's the wrong button. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're okay with watching me lose, I guess. But I'm not really okay with watching myself lose. So why would you be? But yeah. Um, this thing is going to be large. I hope I don't hit the height limit. That'd be disappointing. I think it's 256. What am I at right now? 220? That's an issue. I'm probably going to hit the height limit, actually. Um, I'll check after this tower if I'm going to hit the... I'll look at the picture one more time. And then I think I'm done looking at the picture after that. I don't even know if the recording is okay when I do that. I don't know if it just shows a black screen or what. But... But yeah, today I believe, I believe today Microsoft unveiled their Surface 3 tablet. Um, I have no idea about any of the specs. But I do know that it was supposed to apparently replace the laptop, which is not a new announcement by any means. Um, every tablet ever made was supposed to, quote unquote, replace the laptop. I don't think it will. Um, I think the laptops are sort of, they're just always going to have a use. Oh, this will definitely fit. Never mind. Um, they're always going to have a use, laptops. So there's no point in trying to replace them. There's just things you can't do on a tablet that you... Like the touchscreen keyboard is not nearly as effective as a regular keyboard. So honestly, I think there's even downfalls for the laptop that you can't replace it with a computer... Or that you can't fix with a computer. Uh, sorry, scratch that. There are downfalls of a laptop that only a computer can re like have, just like the, for example, gaming capabilities, stuff like that. You can't really play many games on a laptop. You can't play like Battlefield 4 
unless you end up with like a three thousand dollar laptop in which you might as well just bought a good computer and a crappy laptop not for gaming because like how many people seriously like maybe correct me if i'm wrong in the comments like tell me if you do but how many of you play video games when not at home and capable of playing on the computer because i feel as though if i had a laptop with capabilities of gaming i would not do anything in class but like play video games so like just let me know but like that's what i i almost guarantee you that's what i would be doing all, all the class instead of doing my work I would just be like teacher say okay take a thing for notes and i'd just be playing like minecraft or battlefield 4 or something like that um I've actually, this is kind of embarrassing, but I've been playing a lot of NASCAR on my computer lately. It was the first game I bought on Steam. So uh, feel free to add me on Steam if you'd like. It's a game for Paul, just like everything else. But it was the first game I got on Steam. I basically just got Steam to get Watch, or Watch Dogs? Yeah, Watch Dogs. Um, when it comes out, I'm planning on doing a playthrough on that. I just have to quick check before I do what, um, what, I think it's Ubisoft is making the game. This is, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to check what Ubisoft, um, what they're like uploading like rights are to make sure that they're not going to flag it for copyright infringement because i think if i get one more copyright infringement flag without being partnered i um lose good standings with google or with youtube which would mean i am no longer able to be partnered which would be rather unfortunate because eventually you always want to be partnered because it sort of helps you out although apparently uh, some would argue the partnership is no longer even a thing that you need to be successful on YouTube. Um, I think it kind of is important. So, yeah. I have one more. Sorry, I was just taking a picture one more time. My phone's ringing. Hopefully my brother answers it. Um, bam, 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 bam. I'm going to go like this. And okay, light at the top. Which way is the way I like to look at the CN Tower? This way, because this way is the best. Okay. All right, that doesn't look that terrible. That looks pretty cool, actually doesn't really look like the CN Tower, but it looks pretty cool, I think, in my opinion. Um, maybe I might just do the inside off camera. I don't know. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Whether it be on this, what something you'd like to see me build in this series or anywhere else, really. Um, but that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Game Fruit Pulp, and I will see you guys all later.